Hello again, my amazing viewers, and uh, welcome back to the Techno Reviewer with me, your host, Stefan. Hey, um, let's start with um, let's start with this. It's not a surprise that I like uh, technology and gadgets. Um, I have quite a few uh, quite a few gadgets. As a matter of fact, I have quite a collection of all these things, and uh, uh, there's all sorts of uh, interesting gadgets. Uh, but I also have an Alexa, which just turned on by the way um, one is um, an echo show which is the one with the screen it's a kind of a five inch screen and uh, the other one the other two are two echo dots and uh, they work very well they're very interesting gadgets because um, well I like automation and I like uh, to be able to uh, uh, tell my Alexa what to do and they do it um, well let's just say eight times out of ten it does what you ask. Um, I mean, it's it's quite it's quite an interesting uh, time we live in, and uh, I have I do have the uh, the intention to uh, make my house more of a uh, smart. I want to make my house smart, and it's something that I'm doing. However, um, there is uh, a device that I have been looking for, and. Uh, uh, there has been uh, quite a few devices that I've looked at that I would like to add and uh, this one it's quite an expensive item considering what it does uh, but then again there are more expensive items that you tend to buy and they do less uh, but this one that I'm talking about is a smart thermostat uh, and the best one of its range is of course Nest but Although this is the smartest of the thermostats, um, it costs two hundred and forty nine ninety nine, so two hundred and fifty euros. Um, so I'd probably be happy with a less smart one. Let's go for something a dumb uh, thermostat. No, I want a smart thermostat, but I'm not prepared to pay that price, especially because all it really needs to do is turn on and turn off. Uh, when I ask it to, uh, perhaps program it from remote and well, more than anything, it has to turn on and turn off the heating and I want Alexa to do it for me. So what I did, I ventured on my favourite website. Of course, I'm talking about AliExpress and to see what it had to offer. And when you guess, I found and I found an option that saved me to spend the 249 and I bought a 14.99 smart thermostat. This is a smart thermostat and I've got it here in this box. This is a smart thermostat that cost me 14.99. Not even the standard thermostats, the one with the clicky wheel that I don't even have a display cost like 20 or even 30 euros. But this one This one cost fourteen ninety nine. How? Let's turn it on. Let's look at it. So this is the fourteen ninety nine thermostat that came in this quite elegantly, elegantly, elegantly plain box. Sorry, I couldn't even pronounce that word because this is. Just a plain box. This is, well, apart from some shipping packaging, well, this is how it came. There was uh, nothing fancy about it. It says, uh, it, well, it says here, yeah, Minko Heat. So I'm assuming that the brand that actually produces this is that. The type, which the, this the, 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 the sort of tells you the model of it, is X7HGC-B, and it's Wi-Fi. Uh, it is a 3-amp maximum uh, draw uh, device at uh, and it works between 95 and 200, 240 volts so well that's pretty good because it works pretty much in the entire world with no problem so yeah let's open this and we are greeted with the uh, instruction booklet which is uh, well it's not a bad instruction booklet to be honest because it gives you the basic information that you require to set this up like I said, the functions that it actually does without the smart functions, it tells you how to wire it in, depending on the model you have, and it's, uh, well, it's pretty simple how to wire it in, and it tells you how to 
clip it into the wall with its uh, faceplate, which I will show you how it actually works, and uh, the information of, of it. Now, it's general, gen generally, I do actual interesting gadgets, but I think that this deserves a video because it is quite interesting. Well, quite interesting because of the price, more than anything. Uh, it tells you that there's an app, and it's the Tuya app. There it is. Now, I have already downloaded it on my phone, and I downloaded it because, well, I am going to show you, and you're going to say, how are you going to show me how to... This works when it has to be wired into the wall, but there's no worries for that, because I previously pre pre prepared a cable. Now, if I plug this into the wall now, and then touch these two wires, I'll get electrocuted. But if I wire this into the device first, and then plug it in, I will not. And I will be able to show you. So this is what I will be doing. But before I do that, let me show you what else is into the box. Into the box, we have a nice piece of card, cardboard. Take this to the side, and we have nice screws in its packaging, you know, because otherwise they get damaged. And also a certificate a certificate of quality mm. you know what just having this i think this is something i'm going to be putting on the wall nice and a screwdriver to be able to um, screw in the terminals so yeah i will be using the screwdriver because it's included and why not the screws i don't need the packaging well i'll put it back in because before i lose it and yeah so before i wiring well wiring i mean i can wire this in now and it's it's pretty simple because we have two terminals of which are live and neutral which powers the device and then we have a return feed and then what is a um, the switching part well these are the what it says dry contact and it is the uh in and out switching part so what we'll actually be doing in this case is the um it would actually work as the switch for, to turn the boiler on and off, uh, or the, uh, what are they called, condenser boilers, but mine works, the, my, the what the, yeah, I nearly had all my words there, I'm sure you didn't understand a single thing I said, what I'm going to say, the central heating that I have in my house is diesel, I have actually got a diesel burner, no one has a diesel burner nowadays, but I still have one, uh, yeah, I will be changing it soon, but at this moment in time, I'm not. And because of that, and because the diesel is expensive, and because the diesel burner just burns diesel regardless of the temperature, and the um, it would be nice to be able to consume a bit less because, you know, money is what it is, and, well, I've got none. So I need to spend less. And to do that, I'm going to program my Alexa to tell me, Hi, Alexa. Yeah, it's not saying anything. Anyway, uh, I'm going to program my Alexa to be able to turn this on and off in different turn intervals or when I want to switch it on before I come home and be able to have a nice warm house before I come home. Or perhaps I want to turn it off because, well, it's already warm and the temperature is not what it seems to be. And Anyway, you know, you you, you catch a drift. You know what I'm, what I'm saying. So um, I bought this. That's, that's pretty much what I was going to say. I bought this because I wanted it. And... Uh, I don't even know what I was saying, but let's wire this in. So brown is live, blue is neutral. But if I plug this the other way around, well, they're inverted, so it's irrelevant in this situation. Uh, but yeah, generally live is brown and blue is neutral. So because I have got this uh, colors, I will put in the correct colors. Um, of course, I'm not going to be able to... Uh, show you the heating working because it's not going to be plugged into the heating but because it works as a sort of a, a relay that's uh, that's what i'm going to show you so uh let's do a quick jump cut and i will show you that this plug will go into the, uh, the socket ready it's gone um yeah so this is the device it has a very nice backlit screen um yeah, the camera shows that it's unreadable, but actually it's because it's very bright. And there is a function to turn the brightness down, to be honest, so um, I can't remember what it is, though. Oh, it's in the app, of course. Um, so this is the uh, the device, and it's, um, it's very, very nice. I mean, I'm going to have to hold it at a certain... Yeah, it says 14 degrees in here, which it actually is, but it's, you know, don't, don't think it's too cold. It's fine. Um, it's my office, and... 
well, there is no really heating in here. Oh yeah, so the, the backlight does turn off eventually. Uh, and then you click a button and it comes back on and uh, you set the uh, temperature. And it's very, very nice. I mean, the Nest one has this spinny dial uh, color screen. It looks so fancy. But at the end of the day, it does the exact same features. Uh, there is a function which allows you to set uh, the different... Uh, um, what is it? Yeah, the, the different timer sec uh, section. Then you can turn the timer off and you can have it on... Uh, the um the temperature um uh, or then you can go into uh if you hold this down it goes into the different programming modes which i'm not going to be using but uh, oh yeah and there's a, obviously the switch on and switch off but that's not what you want to see what you want to see is that if i turn it on and i hold down the plus button I get a flashing Wi-Fi symbol. So I bring my phone over. I unlock it first. And I bring it over. Now on my phone, you will see that there's already a uh, something that's called a boiler. And because, yeah, I also have electric boilers to warm up the water. Don't worry. Yeah, I know. It's weird. Uh, so what I can do from here, while the symbol is flashing, I can click on the plus. And, yeah, it tells me to, to check that I am on the correct uh, um, frequency. And then I can go on scan. And then I can go on Wi-Fi. And, uh, yeah, okay. And scan. So while that's flashing now, I should be able to see it, I think. I think it's this one. It should be able to check now. Hmm, it's not finding it. Jump cut. Okay, it was my fault. I should have actually read the uh, the instruction booklet, which I did, and it tells you that you have to go on the small appliance and then go on to the uh, thermostat Wi-Fi. You click on that, and then it asks you uh, what the password is. And yes, my network is called Virus, and I will show you what the password is. It's Internet. I don't know why people hide this. I mean, they're scared to be an act. It's useless because, I mean, it's this only has, it's only a test uh, thing. Anyway, then you click Verify, and it's supposed to do something. Now it has one minute to find the device and... Pair it. This is boring. So because it takes a while, I'm going to do a jump cut, but and uh, wait until this has gone through. Okay, so after the pairing process has completed, uh, you will get a small little Wi-Fi symbol there, and you get the. Uh, paired successfully and if you close that then I have on my uh, main page uh, temp and boiler uh, well temp is obviously the one I'm interested in so by having this this one here now uh, you can see that if I uh, adjust the temperature from my phone it will actually change from the device which is exactly what I want and if I well, it's going to be difficult to hold them together, but I can actually just grab this and go all the way to, say, 60 degrees, and you change 60 degrees there, or I can just tap in a certain place and say 19 degrees, and it will do that. Uh, I also have my modes, so uh, I have manual mode, I have program mode, so I can also program the device from the phone. Uh, got a temporary program mode, and it will give me the ability to change different settings. Uh, I have a temperature calibration, I have the uh, week that is uh, set at, so I'm going to just leave that there like this, the light should go off. Um, so I have yeah my working days, so I can go on here and select whether it's 5 plus 2, 6 plus 1 or 7, that's basically Monday to Friday plus Saturday and Sunday, or it's Monday to Saturday plus Sunday, or the entire week, uh, depending on how you want to program it. 
then you can click on here and actually clear, uh, start creating the programs. So you can program it directly from the phone. We have the sound to turn it on and off. If you have the beeping sound, perhaps you've got it in a place that you don't want to hear the beeping sound. We've got a brightness, which at the moment, like I said, it's uh, you, we, we had it on uh, high brightness. So the level was high. And if I go there, see, you can barely see it. Uh, but I can go on low, uh, or we've got like a medium. And we can all together turn it off and use it just like that. Got a temperature calibration. We have a max temperature setting, so you can choose how high you want the temperature to go to. Um, obviously, 60, no one wants 60 degrees in their house, so realistically, the highest temperature you'd want in your house is like, I'm going to say 30, but it's probably less. Um, and then if I click OK and add that, click OK. Okay, and yeah, do you want to know? Okay, so basically, uh, if I try and go to the maximum temperature now, uh, it will stop at 30. It won't let me go any higher than that. Um, got a temperature control switch difference, which I don't know what it means, but then it's got an external temperature limit. Um, we've got the sensor uh, selection, which we have internal or external, both sensors. Externally, if you have a, a temperature sensor somewhere else in the house, well, this can connect to it. And there is a uh, light sensor at the bottom, which uh, obviously if you have the lights on, then this can dim. How dim. Um, we have a frost protection, which uh, I'm assuming that this is like if the temperature drops below a certain level, then this in automatic will turn on anyway and i don't know what else that is um but yeah that's that's pretty much it and uh yeah and you can turn it on and off from the phone and as i said this will then uh, also work in uh, in your alexa app um so um if i tell alexa to turn the temperature off i think you should turn the um the temperature off i have not checked it out exactly how it works i will need to program it i think and it will be added into the uh, alexa app uh if you've got google home then yeah it's the same with google home and then there is i think it supports uh, fttt uh, protocol so if you've got like the uh, the web-based uh, uh, smart home and also the tui app uh so this video was not sponsored in any shape or form to the tui app but um they're great devices and for the price you can't go wrong well you could but i don't think you have so i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, well please remember to like and subscribe leave a comment below because uh, apparently the youtube algorithm likes them so yeah if even if even if it's a well i'm not gonna say if it's a negative comment but you know if you don't like anything just just write it down but you know possibly put a thumbs up i like thumbs ups well you know a thumbs up and yeah, well, this has been a techno review. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.